Hello guys and welcome to Die Gamer Arts. My name is Johnny and today we'll be benchmarking Mega Man 11. Mega Man 11 is an action platform game developed and published by Capcom. The game is an entry in the original Mega Man series and was released worldwide for Microsoft Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in October 2018. The game brings back several features such as voice acting, 2.5D graphics style from previous games throughout the Mega Man franchise. So what this means guys that it basically means the game looks the exact cop like almost the exact copy as the original version of the Mega Man series. Though you will notice some uh, some improvement with the gameplay mechanics and then the overall performance of the game. So that is a plus to the uh, to Capcom. I really I really like how the game really works in a way. Like it's much more fun. I've been a fan of the Mega Man series for a while. Well, ever since I knew of Mega Man series, that was when I was a kid. So the game was really one of my favorite with comparison to uh, Mario Kart. So the settings we'll be using for the game is a resolution of 1366, uh, 1360 by 768 and I think everything is set to the highest value since you are not given any option to go for highest, low or medium settings on the game. Now let's talk about the gameplay. Mega Man 11 retains the gameplay style of the of the classic Mega Man series of the game. So what I was what I said earlier on, this is just to say what I, what I was saying earlier on, the game Paced almost the exact as the original game, okay, and features a 2D graphic style with two, uh, 3D polygonal characters and a 2D environment. That is to say, it looks well. It looks just like what you see on the screen right here, guys. I really don't want to say much about that. Players control Mega Man in an attempt to stop Doctor really from using his double gear system that he invented many years before when he was at Robot University. Players travel to eight linear stages, which can be chosen in any way the player sees fit. And has to face Dr. Rayleigh's newest robot, including Blockman, Fuse Man, Blast Man, Acid Man, Thunder Man, Touch Man, Impact Man, and Bounce Man. So basically, you get the opportunity to fight all these awesome super villains. And then the coolest thing about this is when you defeat them, you actually get to wear their armor, right? So that adds to your performance, to your abilities, and uh, makes the game quite a little bit easy. So, like, if I should play Blockman and I, I defeated Blockman, I get his superpower, so I can use that in my advantage. Alright guys, thank you so much for subscribing, for watching and for checking out my work. I really like what you're doing to me guys. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't for more content. My name is Sean and I'm out. See you guys on the next upload. Here! Oh. 